What's up guys, welcome to this installment of EAP TV. Today, I'm gonna give you four ways you could be picking up more listings. Coming up. All right guys, so today I wanted to give you some outside of the box ways that you could go about picking up more listings, things away from cold calling and other traditional means of prospecting. Two of the strategies on this list are gonna involve using the detailed targeting section of your Facebook ads manager, and the other two are going to involve more personable forms of communication and things you might already be familiar with. The first thing on the list is garage estate and moving sales. And typically the underlying motivation for clearing out clutter is so that you don't have to take it with you to possibly your new home. So those of you who are comfortable with cold calling and door knocking should have no problem giving up some time on your weekend to find out where there's estate and moving sales going on. You can use your local newspaper, you can use Craigslist, and then just make your way out there, talk to the people, and figure out if there is in fact an underlying motivation to move. If there is, make sure you exchange information and then follow up accordingly from there. Next on the list, I'd suggest collecting possible seller leads from your next open house. Now I understand the main motivation of having an open house is to sell your current listing, but I do always think there is a possibility that you can pick up the information from potential sellers at your open house as well. So I would suggest using this app here, Open Home Pro, collect and convert more leads. It's a really cool app and they've got a really cool system in place. It's basically a way for you to have everyone attending your open house check in and then answer some questions, leave you their information, and then you can have an automatic follow-up system in place for those people who checked in at your open house. Now it is $20 for premium access to the app, but it does come with a digital sign-in sheet, a lead management app, automated trackable lead follow-up emails, personalized branded email content, editable email content, advanced online lead management, and automated seller's reports. I checked this thing out pretty thoroughly and I think it's actually a pretty cool app. If you haven't explored open houses as a potential source of generating seller leads, then I would say experiment with this app and see how it does. And now we're gonna get into my strong suit and that's Facebook ads. Now the first of the two strategies has to do with targeting parents of newborn children or children who are right around the end of elementary school, beginning of middle school. I can tell you personally that when I reached the end of elementary school and was ready to move into middle school, my parents wanted to move us out here to Rio Rancho, which is just outside of Albuquerque, and they wanted a larger house to accommodate the fact that I now had a brother and sister. And you can see here, if we jump into Facebook and we go to create a new ad, we select our objective, and then we move on down to the targeting section here. You have detailed targeting. Here you have access to demographics, so you can actually select new parents, parents with early school age children, parents with preteens, and parents with teenagers. And you can see the age ranges right there on the left-hand side. I speak with a lot of agents on a weekly basis about Facebook ads specifically, and a lot of them didn't know that they had this type of depth when it comes to using the detailed targeting section of their Facebook ad manager. Now, if you're not sure what type of ad to put together for this specific audience, I would do a pre-composed search, very similar to the single story home search. Except in this case, we're not targeting people looking to downsize, we're targeting people who are looking to upgrade to a larger size home. So you could create a custom market of all the homes in the area with three to four bedrooms and then leverage that specific angle. Family getting too big, looking to upgrade, here's a free list of all the available homes in the area with three to four bedrooms. I also think something that would help your conversion rates is pairing this list, this pre-composed search with some type of free download. Some type of information on the school systems, the stats, the test scores, any of that information, parents are gonna be very open to receiving. The very last strategy on this list is using Facebook again, as well as the detailed targeting, but this time we're gonna be targeting divorce. Now it's a very unfortunate situation, but the truth of the matter is that 61% of divorced couples end up selling their home. And before I jump into showing you the actual ad and landing pages that I set up for a campaign like this, I think it's very important to stress the fact that the messaging you use in this specific context has to be very delicate. If you're overly pushy with your sales tactics when trying to leverage this specific angle, it's going to backfire on you completely. So use the targeting capabilities of Facebook to get your ad in front of the right type of people. And then from there, it's just gonna be about offering as much value as possible and making yourself available. The prospect will come to you when ready, if ready. Also, just like I did last week where I gave out a free handout, there's gonna be another handout linked right down below in the description. Go check that out. It's gonna detail everything with screenshots that I'm about to show you here on this video. Now let's jump into both Facebook and a lead site so I can show you guys the landing pages that I put together as well as the actual targeting and ad. All right, so we're in a lead site now. Let's start with our squeeze page. At the heart of every successful Facebook ad is a quality landing page. Here's the first squeeze page that I put together. I've got this image that I got from Big Stock. I've got divorce is hard. Selling your home doesn't have to be. Get the answers you need to make the process easier. And you can also see that I eliminated the phone number. I'm not gonna force anybody to give me their phone number for this. I don't want them thinking that I'm gonna be pestering them at all hours of the day trying to get them as a lead. 
Now let's look at the second landing page I put together. You can see I used the exact same image, but I also had the option to add more text right down below here, and I did take advantage of that. I think with the ability to add more text, you have the opportunity to become more authentic and more transparent with your landing page. Finally, the third landing page that I set up has video. I used the exact same text from the second landing page I showed you, but I do have the option to add a video now. And I think if you can do that, that's only gonna help you establish trust, and again, further increase the level of authenticity and transparency that you're portraying. And just to let you guys know, the links to all three of these landing pages will be in that free handout, which is again, right down below in the description. From all three of these landing pages, the user is directed to my thank you page. So let's open that up real quick. And here we go, we've got here's your free download. I've got the cover of my ebook and then click here to download. So as long as you have the PDF uploaded in your media library, you can make that piece of text that says click here, just hyperlink that to the link of the PDF and the user can download it immediately. So once you've got your landing page done and your thank you page done, it's time to move on to the Facebook ad itself. So here we are in the Facebook ad manager and we're gonna repeat the process that we did from the video I uploaded last week. If you haven't seen that, that's gonna be linked right down below in the description. But one of the biggest differences here is going to be the targeting. We're gonna do conversions and this is assuming you've already created a conversion for your thank you page. So if you haven't done that yet, head on back to your thank you page, take that URL, head back to Facebook and create a custom conversion for that page. Now, if we move right along, we've selected our conversion and if we scroll down to targeting our audience here, we're gonna to go to detailed targeting and we're gonna use divorced and separated as our targeting parameters for demographics. We're also gonna use the exclude option right here and we're going to exclude renters as well as anybody who identifies as married. Everything else should look somewhat familiar to you now. We're in the budgeting section. We're gonna set our $10 daily budget. We're not gonna send an end date to the ad so we can pause and resume as we see fit. We're optimizing for conversions. The bid amount is on automatic, everything looks good. There we go, so we're back in the creative layout section and we are gonna stick with the single image and if we scroll down below here, you can see I've already uploaded my image and the ad text reads, divorce is difficult enough without stressing about selling your home too. These five tips will show you how to sell your home fast so you can move on. And you can see I use the same image that I have on my landing page and I'm keeping the message strategy congruent with the message that I have on my landing page itself. I don't want there to be a disconnect there. Again, I'm always gonna stress, keep that succinct. The headline reads, sell it faster, move on easier. And then down below the newsfeed link description reads, this free guide will give you five things every divorcing couple must know before selling their home. And just like that, guys, we've created a quality ad that's offering up a significant amount of value to anybody who we reach through our targeting. If I went too fast on that walkthrough at all, I apologize, but there is a link down below in the description with screenshots walking you through the entire process. So you can head on over, download that, and check it out at your own pace. And that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video, but before I let you go, I'm gonna promote the BeatZillow course, which is a free video course that we have here for you guys. And from there, it directs you into the BeatZillow Facebook group where we've got agents from around the country sharing ideas, marketing insight, what's not working for them, what is working for them. It's a great resource to have and we would love you guys to come join us. And that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, slap that like button right down below. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel. We are now posting daily videos Monday through Friday so you won't be disappointed. And that's it guys. I hope you all have a great weekend and until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.